Here's a truly amazing story. They were separated as young children after the sudden death of their mother. Well, decades later, a Houston artist helped reunite these lost siblings. As Channel 2's Andy Sirota shows us, her incredible ability to create sketches using age progression brought this family together when everything else had failed. In the latest edition of the Guinness Book of World Records, tucked away on page 150, is a Houston record holder, forensic sketch artist Lois Gibson. I've been doing forensic art for 33 years. She's helped solve a record 1,266 cases, from violent crimes and murders to missing persons cases. I'm sorry. But after all these years, the one case that still gets Lois emotional. This case wasn't a, a murder, it wasn't a rape. But a girl was missing her brothers that were taken away. The year was 1963. In Ohio, a mother of three young children died in a car wreck. Four-year-old Tina went to live with her grandparents. But Tina's baby brothers, one- and two-year-old Chris and Chip, were sent to foster care, eventually ending up in West Virginia. As a four-year-old concept, um, you don't understand. You know, your mother's gone. You're never going to see her again. Um, your brothers are gone. But Tina never gave up hope she'd find her brothers. Saying all my life I wanted to find them. I just didn't ever know how to go about it. Tina moved to Houston and kept up her search. She called the FBI and someone there recommended Lois Gibson. She looked for 16 years by the time she found me. Lois took the case. I wanted her to find her long last, lost brothers. She worked with the one piece of evidence that Tina had. Chris and Chip's baby pictures. I did these age progressions of one and two year old babies and made them extrapolated what they would appear like at age 31 and 32. A national TV program picked up the story. On the night of the broadcast, a tip came in and Tina got to talk to her youngest brother on the phone for the first time in more than 30 years. It was quite a surprise to me. I'd always remembered that I had a sister, but everyone had told me that I didn't. Tina hopped on a plane to West Virginia to reunite with her brothers. We arrived there at 1230 in the morning on Christmas morning. Everybody was hugging and laughing and crying, and <laughs> it was awesome. I just wanted to get to know her more, so I came here to Houston. and. I never went home. Take a look at Lois's sketches. They're eerily spot on. The eyes, the teeth, and the chin. There's a lot of the facial features and just the way that I, I look. It, it was pretty amazing. You know, on my deathbed, I will think about how I brought together these baby brothers with a sister when they were adults so they could have a family life. Forensic artists often shy away from using age progression techniques from baby photos because of the possibility for mistakes, but Lois says forensic art is an imperfect process, and the results can be life-changing. Andy Sirota, KPRC, Channel 2 News.